Guys, what you're seeing here is a painting that uh, has a lot of names and dates on it. And in fact, what they are, are a lot of people you know, famous people's names, the dates they were born, and the dates they died. The rubbings of all these people's graves come onto a canvas. And there's a story of how I came to get this painting, and you know, I was there when it was made, and uh, by as an artist that made it, named Scott Covert. And when I look at this painting and I see these people like one of the great uh, ladies men of all time, Rudolf Valentino, or uh, I'll see, you know, Lenny Bruce. I've got Betty Davis. She did it the hard way. I've got Sammy Davis Jr., the entertainer. He did it all. I've got Spencer Tracy. We've got right over here, you've got Marilyn Monroe, Earl Flynn. One of the great, uh, you know, adventurous gentleman. You've got Liberace. You've got uh, the Ramones, Johnny Ramone. And there's another Ramone on there. And uh, I could go on. It goes on and on. There's lots and lots of people. Groucho Marx. And when you really look at this, and here's, here's one of my favorites. You know, one of the most charismatic people of all time that ever lived. Uh, you know, a bit larger than life, and uh, he's been dead since 1957. If you look right here, it says Humphrey Bogart, uh, born December 25th, 1899, died January 14th, 1957. And yet, he's you know, he's like, we could probably walk down the New York street and see him playing on three screens in a bar or something like that. Larger than life, and where he was here was. Uh, behind an enclosed wall that, that the public couldn't get to, he had to have a special key, and this artist did. And there was a little wall of plaques of lots, hundreds, if not thousands of names, and that's about the size of the dollar bill, if that. And that's where, and his ashes are behind something that small, someone so larger than life. So during that time period, I had, I was uh, an actor, a young actor, and I was out in LA and I had a camera and this artist saw me in a play and then uh, he let me crash at his place and he said, uh, but you gotta film me with your fancy camera, we're going around. So I filmed him in all these graveyards. And for me at the time, I was going through a breakup. And I was really stewing over that. And, uh, and I was going through and all, seeing all these dead people, all these famous people dead. And, you know, at the time I was young and, you know, reading a lot of Eckhart Tolle and this and that. I kept thinking about, um, you know, the, the one of the reasons you want to be successful at something and be known for something is in a way you want to live forever. And all of these people, in a way, they live forever, but none of them are here anymore. So I kind of think of, like, I look at that painting and you look at, you know, a lot of those people were are dead longer than they're, they've been alive. You know, they've not existed longer than they were alive. And it's like all of us come into this plane and we kind of make our mark on, a can, on the canvas of life here, and then we go back into wherever we came. So I think it's something to think about when you're thinking about what you're really doing here in your day-to-day, -day, getting stressed out about if you made enough money or uh, if, you know, what's going on, um, you know, with your, with, with um, dating or what's not working and focusing on the bullshit and really focus on the meaning of life that yes uh, actually even though your name might live for a century or two eventually it will that'll disappear from the public's consciousness uh, and also that we are not here in this form forever and so your ego can't live forever and so what do you really want to do? What's important to you? I, I think one of the answers is, you know, that's for you to answer. But uh, for me, it's something to really think about is that relationships with other people are really the most important thing. The connections we make. The connections we make will be the most important things we do in our lives. And that brings the real joy and meaning, whether it's your friends, lovers, whether you want to start a family one day. The connections that we make. Now my neighbors, just getting grooving up there with the, with the with the music, so we'll see what's gonna happen here. Um, anyway, uh, I hope that lets you ponder for a moment. Later.